Hey, Dave. Uh, first, what's the plan for David Price today? Um, I think uh, he, he got into the third, uh, his last turn. So, you know, if he can get through three, that would be uh, sort of the goal right there and kind of try to find matchups, you know, to finish the game. And is there anyone from the bullpen that you're looking to stay away from tonight or is everyone available? I, I think probably the only guy would be Victor. Um, and, you know, we'll see how Bick, Bickford feels when he goes out there and plays catch. And how's Blake feeling today? I know that yesterday you'd mentioned. Um, yeah, wasn't feeling great. Blake uh, just kind of in his catch play, body didn't feel right. So um, today I think he's going to go out there and he feels good. Um, I would assume he'll be available once he plays catch and loosens his body up. And then lastly, what did you think of Jimmy Nelson just here a minute ago? He was good. You know, I think that, um, I, you know, I, I thought the stuff was good. Um, the fastball had life. The breaking ball, both breaking balls were sharp. Um, I, I, there wasn't the command that, you know, I think that he would probably like. But I think right now with, with Jimmy is just kind of how he feels. And that'll kind of drive the decision for, for Friday. Thanks, Dave. Yep. Next question is from Harvey Castillo. Go ahead. Dave, so that decision will be made, you know, maybe tomorrow in terms of how he feels the next day? Yeah, and I think that, you know, expecting him to come with us on the trip uh, is probably a foregone conclusion. And, and whether we activate him on Friday, that's kind of contingent on how he's feeling. Yeah. And then with Bruce Starr, I know you mentioned a 25-pitch sort of session. How did he come out of that and what's next? Yeah, so Bruce Dar actually pitched in the game yesterday. I think he went in inning, 11 pitches, really efficient, sat right around 100, and um, it was good. Um, so he can't see much with 11 pitches, but so in a couple more days, we'll get him back out there. Um, so I think it was, a, it was a good, good outing. Thank you. Next question is from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead, Bill. Yeah, Dave, originally you told us uh, Bellinger would probably play five in a row, but he's not in the lineup today. Is there something that you've seen the first few days to prompt that? Yeah, you know, I, I just felt that and, and talking to the training staff and just managing them and there really wasn't uh, – I wanted to get Albert in there um, just to one of these games, and so there wasn't an opportunity to, for, to play first base. Um, so I, I just felt that – and Cody – is all in on just kind of taking today um, after playing three in a row, managing workload, work through some things mechanically, make it a work day, a recovery day. He'll be in there tomorrow. And then expectation is to play three on, in Atlanta. And um, he'll kind of have his footing at, at that point. You say work day. What would you like him to work on with that swing? You know, I, I think that it's, again, we, we look back at, what he did to prepare for the season. It was an abbreviated spring training. And then I think it was four games in the season, he gets hurt. So as far as game at bats, he hasn't had it. So I think just continuing to get the work in. And um, we all know that he impacts us if he's in the, in the game, in the lineup. Um, and certainly he's already shown that on the defensive side. So it's just kind of con continuing to work and, and be ready to go for tomorrow. And with Trinan, could you be more specific about what's bothering him? You know, Bill, I, I really don't want to be specific on, um, you know, what body part, really. I don't. Has it been bothering him for a while? Uh, no, no, it has not. And I just don't want to kind of divulge something I don't need to. All right. That's, yeah. Next question is from Eric Steven. Go ahead. Dave, uh, just with, with Bruzdar, just to – clarify is he going to be on his rehab for a little while like in terms of what he needs to do with OKC I, I didn't catch that part sorry I, I think um, I, I don't know I, I think um, some of it is contingent on the buildup some of it is contingent on performance some of it is contingent on need here so um, we really could go a couple different directions and right now I just think it's kind of keep him on the rehab for however long that is, and then we'll make a decision at a later date. 
And then with Pollock, you know, you mentioned him going on the road trip as well. Is he for sure playing tonight and tomorrow, or is it just more of a wait? I, I know he's thing? playing tonight, and um, the plan was for him to play tomorrow as well, but we might pivot if he feels good enough. But I think right now, as it stands, he's going to play in both games. And then when you act, when you activate these guys, do you, do you anticipate still – uh, after tonight, say, still going with 14 pitchers for a while, or do you, you might get back to a full bench uh, after a while? You know, that that's going to be – some of it is tonight. Some of it is um, how we want to kind of look out to Atlanta and Pittsburgh. So we've got some options, and I just don't think that we're uh, beholden to any, any way right now. Thanks, Steve. Yeah. we got one more question from Juan Toribio. Go ahead. Hey, Dave, just one quick one on, on Paul. Like, what do you guys have to see from him either today or tomorrow? Just kind of give him the all clear. Is it just playing in a full game? Just him feeling good? I, I think it's feeling good playing seven innings, um, taking at-bats, and just making sure the recovery is where it needs to be.